Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Salar Board Show. My name is Fernando Azevedo, and today we're going to interview the CEO of AMC Clever. His name is Daniel Fernandez, and he's going to give us a bunch of tips for 2022. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video and stay tuned. Hello, everybody. Fernando here from Seller Boards. Today, I have Mr. Daniel Fernandez, the CEO of AMZ Clever, and he's going to bring us some really nice stuff that's going on on Amazon 2022. Daniel, thank you so much for having us. Hey, Fernando, it's a pleasure to be here. Not so far from, from where you are, actually. Here in Florida. I had no idea you were here in Florida, Shu. Thank you so much. And uh, it's a pleasure to have you. I've, I've been looking forward to talk to you and see what, what, you, what you have in that big brain of yours. So tell me, Daniel, what are the good things, the new things that we're expecting to see in 2022? I know we talked a little bit before about brand followers, about Amazon giving volume keywords. What can you tell me about that? Yeah, so uh, a few things, right? I think that uh, when it comes to uh, building a brand on Amazon, uh, the, the tools and the, what Amazon has enabled in the last few months uh, is better than ever. Uh, is, is a very good time to build brand recognition on Amazon. Many things that we were not able to do before are now here. Uh, so we can uh, go a little bit deeper about that. And also the other thing I wanted to share is uh, for the first time, Amazon is opening up the, the black box with multiple locks and, you know, it was impossible to see what's in it uh, before. I was finally starting to share uh, search volumes uh, for keywords, right? Keywords that are um, uh, that are uh, people are searching on Amazon. We're able to see how many times these are being searched. Something that in the past we were relying on all their outside tools, and I won't I won't say any names so that we don't um, you know we don't know anyone, but. You know, before it was basically just educated guesses, uh, but finally now Amazon themselves are providing this information. Yeah, and you also can see the click-through rate share, the conversion share, right, on brand analytics. Uh, at least three. Yeah, times. it's. I mean, it's more than that, right? You can even see you can see conversions. You can see uh, for your own products. You can see. Add to cards. How many percent? What percentage of of add to cards you're getting? So those are a little bit of some areas that that um, would like to share share with your audience. Hopefully, uh, there will be some stuff that is uh, applicable. Things that people can do, kind of thing implement today for their you know for their Amazon account. Yeah, and, that, and so, that's I think that's one of the cool things about agencies that they're so ahead of the curve. A lot of the sellers, they're making money, they're profitable, and they don't know about those tools. So when you go to an agency, the agency goes, yeah, I, I know they, they exist. I know they're new, and I know how to use them to grow your business. Yeah, yeah. It's And also, one thing that's been very interesting about running an agency is uh, if a brand uh, just selling products on Amazon and maybe has been doing it for a few months or years, right? Their, their um, database is based on only their products, right? Whereas um, as an agency, we have, let's say 30 plus clients and each of those clients has a few products, right? So our, our uh, the amount of data that we have is many times fold what, uh, brand can do on their own or a seller can see or do on their own. So that's why when they see, when somebody, uh, let's say a, a brand is facing some kind of problem on Amazon, it's almost guaranteed we have seen that problem and almost guaranteed we have already solved that, that situation just because of our, the amount of data that we've been exposed to and right. the amount of product launches and new products and dealing with seller support and all of that. So. It puts us in a in a good position to to 
uh, you know, in terms of knowledge and wisdom for what works on Amazon. Mm -hmm. And you, you just moved to Florida, right? Yes, yes. I um, so I lived, uh, you know, I lived in in China first for uh, about three years. Uh, I think that was around 2017 and onward, and I was able to learn a lot from uh, Chinese sellers. Uh, some people may call it the the a lot of black hat tactics and and things like that. Uh, not all of it, but you know, there were some of that. I was able to learn and, and be exposed to that. I, I met mm -hmm. companies that, I met agencies that their full-time service is Black Hat. Oh they they sell you Black Hat. <laughs> That's all they do. You ask for <laughs> something else, they don't, they don't offer it. Uh, and just that, those conversations and seeing what they were doing was, um, was very, very helpful uh, to protect our clients from tactics and uh, bulletproof a little bit more uh, accounts, right? Knowing what what the the um, let's say the bad players do, mm -hmm. but also met a lot of uh, a lot of brand owners, a lot of sellers that were going to Amazon for sourcing or for events that were mm -hmm. happening there. I, I was also uh, fortunate to speak at some of these events, you know, Global Sourcing Summit and and events from a uh, uh, Global Formation and so on, and and that was a, a big big I think. Uh, uh, phase in my journey then a uh, pandemic started i moved to bali lived uh, there for a couple of years and now i'm back here in the us I'm, uh, as you know in florida so it, it's good to see um the events that i'm going here now and how the information from what i was seeing in asia and what i'm seeing here uh varies a little bit right so it's, it's uh i've been fortunate to be able to see both uh, sides of the equation Would you be able to share like uh, scary black hat tactics that you saw over there? Well, yeah, there, there is. I mean, there's some things, right? That uh, some companies that do a lot of trial and error with fake reviews, right? And and they do so much of it that they start to draw some numbers. They know how many. Um, what percentage of, if you're getting a hundred orders, let's say a uh, hundred orders a week, they know exactly how many reviews you can get per week uh, before you trigger uh, a flag, mm -hmm. oh, no. right? So they, oh. they operate at those, at those, uh, with those thresholds in mind. And it's all trial error, but once they, they do it, they know how fast they can get the reviews. Uh, they know how many they can get, they can get what discounts they, they can do for the, the product that the reviewer is getting, right? So those are a few, few things that were very interesting. Uh, probably one of my favorites is, uh, and this is pre-pandemic, of course, there, is, uh, there were a lot of Chinese students in the U.S. Uh, studying university, right? That come here as a, as a um, foreign uh, students. Exchange, ex exchange student or foreign student, right? Uh, so all of these students, they use uh, for messaging, they use WeChat, right? Which is like the Facebook of China. And what brands in China were doing is they were recruiting students from the, the, were in the U.S. that already have maybe an Amazon account or they have already a, 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 you know, a bank card in the U.S., credit card or a debit card in the U.S. for the mm -hmm. years that they're living here. Mm -hmm. um, and they were using them as people to leave reviews on their products. Uh, and this was very, uh, it, it flies under the radar for Amazon because these students, they are already buying stuff on Amazon because they live here, right? Mm -hmm. And they, they are also reviewing codes, products. Yeah. And they were getting paid, they were getting reimbursed uh, the money on WeChat in, in Chinese uh, currency, in, in RMB, which is, uh, impossible to track or trace for Amazon, right? So that had been happening for, for many years, uh, which explains a lot of things. Wow, wow, wow. sorry to derail a little bit. Uh, I wanted to ask about the brand followers. Awesome, so let's, um, let me start with a little bit of background, right? And that is, that is Amazon. Uh, uh, Amazon has 
recently starting to started to realize that they, you know, Shopify is a company that obviously has grown tremendously, right? And and Amazon, I think, is now seeing them more as as their direct competitor, right? Like they want um, they want to. It's not now Amazon versus you know eBay or Walmart. Uh, those, you know, Walmart is growing, but let's say with eBay, that battle was won a long time ago, right? It's just more in, in, into brand building, right? People that buy on Shopify sites are people that are actually re um, resonating with the brand and the messaging and all of that. And a, a big aspect of uh, Shopify, selling on Shopify is social media. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of that traffic that people buy from Shopify comes from social media mm -hmm. and then the number one kpi of social media is is engagement and engagement comes from your uh, followers right or the people that like you or the people that follow you right instagram is a, the perfect example right the more followers you have um you can promote uh anything really to more people so mm -hmm. i think amazon has is picking that up from the base which is this this follower account, right? And they have brought that over to Amazon. So for the first time, uh, you can now, uh, people that not necessarily buy from you, but they, they like you, they like your brand on Amazon, they can now follow you on Amazon, right? And, and there is a follow button now in a few areas. Mm -hmm. One of them is gonna be your storefront, mm -hmm. right? That's why, uh, at this point, I mean, it's been a few years since the storefronts came out. If you don't have a storefront by now, you got to get one. And if you're new to the game, you got to get one quickly because uh, that's how you start basically getting uh, followers, right? And, and why, why would you want followers on Amazon? Uh, there's a few new tools that Amazon has released, right? And, and I'll start with probably the one I'm most excited about, and that is the ability for the first time to broadcast uh, a message, an email to all your followers on Amazon, mm -hmm. right? And, and, you know, I speak with a lot of brand owners, a lot of companies, and they're always worried about uh, not getting that customer data, right? <clears throat> uh, not building that email list from Amazon. And for obvious reasons, right? Amazon wants to keep that because mm -hmm. it's their ecosystem. Uh, but now they're allowing us to, to contact these followers uh, still within their ecosystem, right? Like the list mm -hmm. of followers is still within Amazon. Uh, yeah, we're not getting their email addresses and all of that. But mm -hmm. at least we're able to proactively message these uh, followers. And, and there is different campaigns that you can use. This is, um, this is for brands that have brand registry on Amazon. Mm -hmm. And what you can do is this is a tool that comes up in, in the brands section of your Seller Central um, uh, dashboard. Mm -hmm. And then this tool is called customer engagement, right? And, and what customer engagement allows you to do is to broadcast again to all your uh, brand followers. And what kinds of things? Uh, they, they do not let you just outright type what you want to say, right? Mm -hmm. There is pre-written uh, templates to pick. Uh, and there's two specific templates that I think are, Amazon, I think, nailed it, right? They're on point. Uh, one of them is, and um, maybe, uh, Fernando, maybe you can guess, what is uh, one of the things that all sellers do, um, that all sellers have in common that they do with their Amazon store? Oh, uh, their Amazon store? Uh, yes. Email or Amazon 100%. store? 100%. Uh, so I'll help you uh, launch a product, right? Okay, One thing that we all, all right. have in common, oh, we yeah. all have in common is if, if you're a seller, chances are you launched a product, right? Mm -hmm. So one of, those, one of those campaigns, one of those templates is for a new product launch. Oh, that's right? how great. Powerful, how, how powerful this is that you have been accumulating followers. Maybe you have a hero product that is doing really well and then you're going for the second one. And now you can piggyback on, all those followers and you can basically say that there's a um, or, or discount your your new product and then that gets broadcasted to all these all, all these followers right nice. so that's 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 one of them it's a game changer for uh for product launches right 
and it's all syndicated by Amazon. It's all basically has the blessing of, of Jeff Bezos uh, completely by the rules, right? It's, it's exactly what Amazon wants you to do. It's now being given to you. The, uh, the other thing now, this customer engagement, um, it also allows you to, so let's say you're not launching a product, but you have your hero product uh, or maybe a slow mover that you have a little bit too much stock. You can also send a message about a promotion that you're running on a product. Mm, uh, nice. If you're basically discounting your price, I don't know, 20%, 25% or more, um, you do that. And then you can also broadcast with that campaign to uh, everybody that follows you. And how, how awesome is that, right? That you can yes. now get that extra, that extra uh, spike your sales in that way, which spikes your, your BSR, maybe helps you with some more ranking. Wow, that's really interesting. So, uh, Daniel, do you have any tips uh, for 2022 uh, in how people can contact you? Yes, yes. So for, for 2022, just to recap that is focus on growing your followers list. And, and I'll, I'll share one tip, uh, but also I want to say that a lot of these tools, like the customer engagements tool, that um, on, only becomes available or it becomes um, unlocked after you hit a certain number of followers, right? So when you have 100 followers, for example, I don't think it will be available just okay. yet. I think you have to hit about a thousand, right? And that takes a little bit of time. Uh, so that's why you want to start early. You want to start doing it. Um, now, how do you get followers? I'll share one tip. And that is when looking at your, your storefront, right? Your storefront, you can create a, a, a banner image that goes at the top of your storefront. Correct. Um, make, make that banner image so that you have an arrow pointing down to the side to the follow that button. says that says follow us for blah 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 right uh discounts new products promotion etc et et product launches now yes oh, yes and make that arrow basically point very well because the follow button even though it's there it's a little bit small so you want to yeah. highlight it some more yes good good tip loved it loved it yeah. Yes. And also uh, going back to the to the keyword volume, the data that Amazon is now showing us, right? Like we spoke in the beginning, that information is also very helpful for 2022, right? Yes. Yes. So I'll share a little bit about that, and then I'll. I'll uh, this is something that we we do for our clients at my agency. So basically, all that I'm talking about, we take care of. Um, uh, at the end, I'll share my uh, contact details if somebody you know out there has a question or anything, just wants to be in touch. Awesome. Uh, but yeah. this one about the uh, search volumes, right? And this is also something that you need. Um, you need to be brand registered. And it's also not available for all sellers. Uh, however, there's a way to ask Amazon to unlock uh, this for you early. Oh, right? nice. And this is a, this is a two... Uh, two tools that uh, Amazon has released. The first one is called the Product Opportunity Explorer. Mm -hmm. And that is um, that's something that becomes available in Seller Central in the growth section of the dashboard. There should be a drop down menu. And then the last option uh, would say Product Opportunity Explorer. If you have these, if Amazon has unlocked this for you. If you don't see it, don't worry. Um, e um, Email, email uh, this email address that I'm going to share, uh, asking Amazon to give you access as a beta user, right? And you got to tell them a little bit, hey, I want to be a beta user for this, and I'll provide you feedback on how to improve it, right? Like, basically, be a little bit, uh, uh, add a little bit of value, right? And giving them a good reason. But the, the email address is uh, opportunity-explorer-request at amazon.com awesome. right email that from your from your main email on your seller central account and then once again ask them but not just say hey i want i want to use a tool give them a, a good reason for that mm -hmm. um anyway 
So once you have this tool, what you are able to do is, uh, first of all, look up uh, for, I think it's six marketplaces. It's uh, US, Germany, UK, France, Italy, and Spain at the moment. And what you're able to do is you have a, you have a, a, a search box where you can put in a keyword. Amazon calls it a, an opportunity, right? But uh, in, in reality, what you're doing is you're typing a keyword for, for a niche. And mm -hmm. let's, say, let's say you type in omega-3, right? What Amazon then is going to do is it's going to break that. And you want to start with a, a good seed keyword, right? Mm -hmm. You don't want to go long tail. You want to go with a seed keyword, something mm -hmm. like omega-3 or garlic press or uh, shares for men, something very, very general that probably has a lot of search volume, right? Because the next step is Amazon is then going to spit a lot of uh, uh, sub niches. They call them, they call them uh, customer needs, but in reality, there are niches inside that seed keyword seed that keywords. you typed in. And, and notice that I'm not saying they're giving you keywords. They're giving you sub niches, uh, which, you know, uh, there are keywords on their own, but each of these sub niches is going to have a group of search terms that Amazon is, is uh, assigning. For example, right? If I type in omega-3, uh, one customer need that Amazon will give you is, uh, for example, vegan omega-3, right? Which, which is a keyword, right? But Amazon is calling it a customer need or, or, a, or a sub niche. Uh, and the reason for that is because inside that customer need, you can expand it and you'll be able to see the search terms that Amazon has uh, basically assigned to it. You'll see uh, vegan omega-3, You'll see omega-3 vegan. You'll see, you know, vegan omega-3 supplement. You'll probably see algae oil, right? Mm -hmm. So not even with the words, algae oil. You'll probably see vegan DHA, which is, a, 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 I think, a, a scientific, a scientific name of, of some of the, the ingredients that, that are inside omega-3, right? Mm -hmm. You may see al algae oil and, and so on, right? And then... Mm -hmm you'll be able to see for each of these search terms, you're gonna be able to see the search volume that they get every year, right? For example, for vegan omega-3, you might see, um, I don't know, 80,000 searches per year, right? So then if we do a quick, uh, quick math, uh, what is uh, 80,000 divided by 12, Fernando? 80,000 divided for you. by 12, 6,600. 66. Yes. Yes. So that's just that. That would be the average search volume per month, right? Nice. And you can compare that with, with all the tools that, that you know, they, they give you this data. Uh, but really, this data this time is coming from Amazon. Another thing is you can see if that search volume for this year compared to the previous year, Amazon will tell you if the search volume activity has grown or has uh, gone, gone down, right? That way you know if you are in a niche that is doing this or a niche that's doing this like, uh, like crypto, <laughs> right? <laughs> so um, another, just as a joke aside, um, another thing you can see is um, inside this whole customer need, again, that has many uh, search terms inside, you can see which of these uh, search terms has most of the clicks. Uh, Amazon calls it a click share, right? And for example, mm -hmm. in this case, vegan omega-3, let's say has 40%, meaning all these search terms that Amazon identified um, belong to that customer need of, of omega-3, right? Uh, we'll be able to see, um, we'll, we'll be able to see the, which one is the one that, that gets most basically had the most clicks mm -hmm. exactly exactly and then lastly you'll be able to see also the uh conversion rate right like for example let's say we have vegan omega-3 omega-3 vegan vegan omega-3 supplement right and then uh, let's say algae oil right we'll be able to see if the first two or the first one maybe has 20 percent conversion rate the next one maybe has you know 15 percent conversion rate uh, and then 18% conversion rate. And then maybe the last one, algae, doesn't say omega, algae oil has 
5% conversion rate, right? So that way you, you know what keywords to really focus on uh, that matter to your listing, to your product. Very cool. Loved it. I, I knew I was going to be excited to have you because I knew I was going to leave this meeting with a lot of my mind. Very cool. Loved it. Awesome. Awesome. But yeah, and there is, there is, I mean, we haven't even scraped the, the surface of what this product opportunity explorer, what this tool uh, actually shows you. There's a lot more. You can see they give you, believe, believe, uh, believe it or not, Fernando, Amazon is giving you how many products were launched in the niche in the last 12 months. Wow. And they're telling you how many of those products uh, they, Amazon, they deem successful launches, right? They're giving you that number. Right, so you can see. Let me ask you a question. If you see that I have to check ten this. products, if you see ten products were launched in a niche, and then Amazon is telling you that nine of those launches were successful, successful. right? Would you <laughs> would you try would you try that niche or not? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely, right. Whereas yeah. other niches, if they say you know twenty products were launched in this other niche, but only one was successful then that should tell you something, right? That something is, is, is uh, mm -hmm. wrong here. Yeah, um, there is a barrier. Yeah, so that's a, yeah. I, I would say, you know, we, with our clients, we use this information to, to make good decisions, right? And this is, yeah, we're, we're, focused on, we're focused on operations, on management and strategy. And this is for the strategy part is huge. And then that determines what we're gonna basically do during the, the, on the management side. All right, very cool, love that. So Daniel, I think we went a little bit over time. I would love to have you again. So we're gonna keep talking because I wanna I want see the other topics that you have to say. Uh, I need to know how people can contact you. Awesome, awesome. So um, if you have any, any questions, if you, potentially wanna, uh, want us to, to grow your brand, uh, manage and grow your brand for you, uh, just shoot me an email. It's very easy, daniel at amzclever.com. Uh, okay. That is amz, Z like zebra, clever.com. And then uh, even if you have a question and it's something that I can help you on the spot, uh, shoot me an email. I'm happy to, happy to connect uh, and help with whatever I can. Okay, thank you so much, Daniel. So everybody, uh, this was Daniel, the CEO of AMZ Clever. I hope you liked this interview. I'm gonna try to bring him more to the channel because I know he has more things, more cool things to say. And I am Fernando from Sellerboard. Thank you for having me. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye. Welcome back everybody. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave your comment below. If you have any questions, just go to sellerboard.com. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.